YouTube is changing. And if you wanna be successful and get views, you cannot do what YouTubers did five years ago and expect the same results today. Sean breaks down some of these new YouTube changes with real life examples of how small YouTube channels are blowing up by focusing in on the new tactics that YouTube wants you to focus on. You gotta just press record. One. The new YouTube studio is out. Been out for a while, but YouTube, after 10 years, changed the entire back end and is giving us new insights, new analytics, and it's giving us new details as to how YouTube is working too. Many of the strategies that gurus are teaching don't work anymore. So unfortunately, a lot of people are just doing stuff that doesn't really move the needle, okay? And you wanna avoid that because it's a waste of your time and your time is very valuable. And then also viewer behavior is changing in a TikTok world and a YouTube shorts world in a world where there is more options than ever before. It's important to understand the evolution of the YouTube viewer. Here's an example of this. In the early days of YouTube, subscribers were king. Let me know how many subscribers do you have or do you want? You know, you could write that down. A lot of people want to get their first 1,000 subscribers, a very worthy goal. Sometimes we become overly obsessed with subscribers. In the early days, subscribers were king. You getting lots of views on your videos meant you had to have a lot of subscribers because what would happen? So when you got subscribers, you released a new video and YouTube would push your video out to your subscribers. That's like not how it works anymore. Today, CTR and AVD are king. It means click-through rate and average view duration. We're getting a little geeky, but let's dive in. Now, you could have a lot of subscribers, but whether you have subscribers or not, YouTube is judging videos on the merit of each video. There is value to have some, a few subscribers, but what YouTube does is it releases, not even to all of them, it releases your video to a, you upload a new video. You got a thousand subscribers. It's going to show like a hundred of them. It'll test your video and it'll say, does Sean's subscribers click on it? That's what CTR is, click through rate. Do they click on this video? Now watch, if they're not passionate about the topic of the video, they scroll past it, they don't click on it. That's a bad thing. And then if they click on it, what is AVD? It's average view duration. How long do they watch the video? If they actually click on it and they're like, mm, it's boring. She didn't get to the point. I watched the first 10 seconds, but like didn't really grip me. And they jump off the video. Then what happens is the distribution of that video, YouTube getting your video view, Views, stops. The opposite is true. It meaning, let's say you have a hundred subscribers, but your click through rate and your average view duration is high, meaning you put out a new video, 10 of your subscribers click on it, they watch the entire thing. YouTube goes, hmm, we should show this video to people who don't subscribe to your channel. And then if those people see it on their homepage or suggest it and they click on it and they watch a lot of it, then YouTube goes, hmm, we should show it to even more people. Whether you're just starting or not, you can go viral. You don't have to like build up a bunch of subscribers for years because of the new rules of how YouTube is working right now. There's multiple examples. This is just one, but let me illustrate. If you haven't heard the story of Janelle Elena, she got 1.3 million subscribers in her first three weeks and then 2 million in, in a coming month. She posted just three videos. So she came out of nowhere. She started from scratch. She posted three videos and she got over 2 million subs. Today, she has way over 80 million views. Why do I share that? Just to prove a point that you could start a brand new channel and grow it rapidly. The old way was like, I got to slog through and get a bunch of subscribers. And that's fine. But again, if you put out the right videos on the right topics for the right audience, optimized in the right way, you can experience rapid growth. Now, of course, she's a unicorn, meaning 1.3 million in three weeks is crazy. Imagine just getting 10% of that. In three weeks, that'd be 130,000 subscribers. So imagine just getting 10% of that. That would literally be 13,000 subscribers in three weeks. And that is not pie in the sky. Meet Larry. So Larry is one of our uh, Video Ranking Academy students. He's a chartered financial financial analyst. Not too late to start YouTube. He posted his first video June 9th, 2021. No fancy studio, no fancy USB mic, no fancy LED lighting, smartphone video shooting in his office. However, clear audience, the information was good. And he posted just a few more videos. And in six months, he got 53,000 subscribers, 900,000 views, and he only posted 13 videos. The cool news, the good news is that the new rules of YouTube success is that when you crack the YouTube algorithm, you can grow quickly. You don't have to play by the old rules and try to use old outdated tactics. You can actually experience rapid growth just like Larry. If you love this YouTube video, then you are absolutely going to love this one. So click on the screen and watch that. I will see you guys in the next video.